Hey everyone, welcome to App Unbox. Today we have an amazing tool to share with you that will revolutionize the way you manage your email. It's called Inbox, a powerful email management solution designed to streamline your inbox and boost your productivity. Whether you're drowning in email overload or struggling to stay organized, this tool has got you covered. So let's dive right in. So we are going to open our browser and here it is in AppSumo. You will get Inbox at only $69 for lifetime at 88% discount, which is a really solid pick in my opinion. So let's get right into the Inbox website and let me tell you a few words about Inbox, okay? Before we get started, let me give you a brief introduction to Inbox. It's a feature rich email management solution that helps you take control of your Inbox. With its intelligent features and intuitive interface, Inbox enables you to manage your emails efficiently, save time, and stay focused on what matters most. So first of all, we are gonna sign up for free. Since it is free, we are gonna sign up for free, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I already have an account, so we're just gonna sign in, okay? So there we have it, ID is inbox.com. Signing in completed. All right, so let me close the previous window and as you can see we have our dashboard of inbox and what we can do with it let's go and uh, create as you can see we can create campaigns we can create forms we can create landing page and we can manage automations now one thing that i don't like here is that i don't know which language it is why will it be in this language man come on it should be english language right so this is really inconvenient and uh, horrible to look at so <laughs> And now let's go scroll down bottom let's see what we have contact list it should be my email but sadly i can't scroll down here i don't know what's under the landing page so in order to scroll down i'll need to zoom out my page as you can see we have settings here and then we have your plan data usage well this if this footer was not scrolling down which is a really inconvenient feature for i guess the website is not compatible with multiple devices that's why it's not compatible with my device. That's what I can see. All right, so if you have not sent any campaign, then start now. So first of all, we are gonna learn campaign. Okay, so let's go ahead and create one. We are gonna create regular campaign, okay? After selecting a regular campaign, we are gonna click on create. As you can see on the bottom right, there was create. Okay, so. Okay, so we are gonna select a subject which is gonna be test. And domain is going to be common use, okay, English language, of course, the next. All right, now we're going to choose layouts, templates, your uh, your own HTML, okay. Use simple HTML editor, upload HTML from the URL, okay. So we're going to upload HTML from URL, of course. Now design type, layout, let's go ahead and choose a layout. So these are the basic layouts and these are featured layouts. We are going to select a featured layout. Let's go ahead and select this one. So if we have uh, entered wrong subject name, then we can change subject anytime. We can send a test email. All right, we will test it later, not now. Send a campaign for your product. We can uh, edit the text here, and we can edit color, text alignment, line height, etc. A lot more. And then we have uh, we can add a photo here. We can add another photo here. You can create AI images from here, or upload your own image from here, and you can manage the width, length here, as you can see. Uh, or maybe a also oh, good thing we can enter image link and then it'll just go there all right so we have these things okay button here content okay cool smart buttons as you can see we're gonna see magic by selecting a smart button shop now get suggestions try it now explore now let's go ahead and change it to explore now wow the text changed but pretty cool man Okay, so we can uh, we can add a photo here again. Let AI create the image. Sure, why not? Use prompt. Let's see. Generating an image. Okay, image generated. Let's go ahead and select this one. Uploading. All right. So as you can see, the guys, the image upload has been completed, and we can. There is a read more button. We can change all of these buttons, text colors. As you can see, lots of customizations available, layouts, every single thing here is modifiable, including the footer here. As you can see, everything is modifiable here. So we are just gonna 
I don't know what's behind this thing. It can't be. I can't just go behind it. So we're just gonna save this one. All right. Well, let's click on done editing because we are actually done editing. Okay, so we have created a custom campaign here. Alright guys, since our project is done, let's go ahead and visit it. Alright, newsletter content. As you can see, the entire project is ready. And we can edit it as we need. Edit on inbox brush. Pretty cool, so we're gonna save it. We're not gonna touch it anymore. So as you can see, we can do a lot of things. And we can create campaign in a very smooth way. So now we're gonna go to forms. Now we are going to select our product name, test form, description test, my first contact list which is my own email, next. Okay, now we are going to uh, edit the design on inbox brush. Alright guys, so we have our custom form here, as you can see we, we can uh, newsletter test, we can change, subscribe to our newsletter and stay updated, this is test, okay. Now, uh, now our clients can input their email address here. All right, enter your email address to subscribe. And just enter your email address. As you can see, everything is changeable here. And then our client will be able to enter their email addresses here. We can also move this thing if necessary. This choice will be added to your field. As you can see, our client will be able to add their email address. Okay, so let's go to the design. And we're gonna go to styles. Page background color, you can select a background color for your page, submit. You can check the font color, font color, check the form color, form design. Now we can select the form opacity. Okay, now uh, style is done. So now we're going to go to form designs. As you can see, form width, large, medium, small. We're going to check our form width. So large width is good. Alignment center, right, left, or right. Well, center alignment is good. Then we can select rounded or fully rectangular so let's see how much rounded we need we can get fully rectangular or much rounded so this one looks much cool all right so border style will be inset groove there are lots of border styles you can select which border style looks great ridge all right so now we can select border width as you can see we have border width here and now we are going to be able to see the borders pretty well now, as you can see. Right, so dotted borders, double border, hidden border, dashed border. Alright, so now we're just going to reduce the border width. This one looks nice, so I'm just going to keep it that way. Change the border color a little bit. Alright, as you can see, we can, we can make a pretty good design. Now we're going to design the save button. Alright, save button's background color will be green because it's go time font color will be something just making colors now how much round did the save button should be well this looks pretty cool the alignment of the save button it was better on the left side okay save button I know it doesn't make sense but I'm just editing because I'm gonna show you that I can edit okay so now we can choose the fields as you can see there are lots of fields but mainly the design is done here so now I'm gonna uh, done the editing as you can see editing done and I will be kicked out of the editing menu all right so form setup done design done now we're gonna click next because our design making is done now activation done language of course it's gonna be English sender account we have to select we have to save a sender account in order to select sender account then we have system template or well, we can select custom activation newsletter test okay use default link access message your message empty field okay we are not using it. activation link success link notify me and we're gonna click on finish okay this fields needed to be all right guys we need to select sender account but I don't have a sender account because sender account has to be something like blah blah at the rate appandbox.com you can't use your gmail account at sender account here so you'll need to have your own business email in order to have a sender account so you have to set sender account then success message okay as you 
the success error message will be error empty message empty field message will be empty that's it but since we don't have a sender account we can't click finish here so we're gonna skip this step well the step is done actually we're just gonna need a sender account which you will have if you actually need this software of course you will have a sender account if you are sending newsletter to people okay so this step is done then we have landing page and automations so we're gonna explore landing pages now as you can see same methods and Alright guys, so we are back to dashboards and as you can see we have completed the most important factors. You can run custom campaigns with your newsletter and you and we have showed you how to create custom campaign emails and custom form emails that's done. So as you can see guys, this inbox application is a really handy tool but there are some bugs like these. Uh, these panels are not working. I don't feel like the website is compatible with my device because I'm unable to scroll down. In fact, I'm needing to zoom out my browser in order to see all these settings uh, on the all this all these settings on the sidebar. So as you can see, this website is not compatible with all the browsers. You might need to zoom out or zoom in if the sidebar is not supporting on your device. So guys, that wraps up our review of Inbox. It's a powerful mail management solution that helps you take control of your inbox and boost your productivity. So head over to the link down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting reviews and tutorials. And if you purchase the application and feel like it's not helping you, you can just return it and get a refund within 60 days of course. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.